Now let's go back to ER Studio Data Architect and we'll go through the HTML reporting. This is if you wanted to wrap up the entire DM1 file and publish it out to HTML for users out there. We'll go to Tools, Generate Reports, and you have a number of options here that you can choose from. We'll go through the HTML report. There's also a RTF reporting as well. We'd be able to pick a target directory and you can also pick a quick launch which would actually allow you to save the settings at the end of the operation for another time. So if we did that and we want to run the same report this quick launch would help us with that. In this case we'll go through and manually select everything. So I'll hit next and in this step we have objects under the diagram to select. We have the properties on the right I can go to the data lineage tab, the data dictionary, and security. And you can see if there's no objects listed on the left that there's nothing to report on. So you don't have to select anything there. These tabs will be dynamic. So if we had views or triggers or store procedures, you would see those. Uh, we don't show them if those objects are not in the model. I'll hit next and here we have the option to generate images for each submodel. And that's what you see over here on the right. You'd see a list of all the submodels that you have. You'd be able to select the image type, the zoom and quality for each image. The image type is a global setting. So I can just hit select all. In this case we have two main models that we'd be reverse or, uh, generating images for. And in this case, the logo link options, you can put a, your own corporate link uh, logo, a link to a, a site, and that would uh, be a visible in the report. There's some other options here in terms of object definition and note formatting. If you want to wrap the text, you can do something like that. Or if you have carriage returns and other formatting that you've manually done for each definition, you can, uh, say, preserve the reporting. We'll hit next. We'll have some other properties that we can choose here and then I can hit finish. This is also where we'd actually save the quick launch. So if we want to save this particular report generation operation, that's what we'll be doing here with this quick launch. I'll just hit finish. So this will go through and generate everything to HTML. And you can see that since I selected everything, there's quite a bit to go through. Now what you'll see is basically a fully navigable HTML report. We have the data model tree on the left. We can expand that just like we would in the product itself. We can expand the entity node and I can navigate through these to see any specific properties that we have. If I want to see a picture of the model image, I can go to model image and here we'd have the ability to see any other entities or tables that belong for that particular main model. These are dynamic, so I can click on the contact entity and it would take me directly to that and we'd see here uh, the details for that particular contact entity.